least last year in May we've released three cheetahs and then the beginning of the year we released uh, three leopards then I released another a female and then Flo have released already one three three cheetahs he released with me the three leopards and then now we've released today the this cheetah together all of them have colors some of them have older type colors the VHF colors um, and uh, some of them have the more fancy satellite GPS colors and then the cell phone GPS colors mm -hmm. which is the one we have put on this cat today the basically the use of the colors is um, it helps us in collecting data first of all um, if we have a collar around a cat that means we can track him, we can follow him. Now you get different types of collars. Some collars, like your normal VHF units, are a little bit more difficult. So you actually have to go with your equipment into the field and walk and drive and keep signaling from all different angles till you pick up a signal. Um, with your cell phone GPS collars, that works a little bit better. It's better technology. What we do there is, um, after we fit the animal with the collar, we actually have a software and um, we work on the website of a organization called African Wildlife Tracking. So we log in in the mornings because the download um, comes through at six o'clock in the morning. So basically what happens is the GPS unit in the collar switches on, it takes a GPS position and then it sends it to our local cell phone provider, which in return then either I could set it to get the SMS on my cell phone or I go onto the internet, I log on and I get my point and I say to the system I want to view it in Google Earth and it opens up Google Earth and it takes me directly to where the cat was sitting this morning at 6 o'clock GPS, um, the GPS satellite colors work on the same basis except for that you don't work with your local um, cell phone provider you work with satellites which means it's a little bit more expensive double the price of the color we have today fitted on this cheetah um, but there it switches on and it communicates with satellites basically and the same thing happens you log on it gets mm -hmm. the position and you download it in Google Earth so you can create your maps from there and it's actually all brilliant relocate animals from inland Namibia, if I can say that, central Namibia down to south where you guys are going now, then it's quite helpful because it shows us um, how far does this cat travel and how long does he keep moving and how long does it take him before he found a territory which he could say right this is now actually a place where I think I could I could stay. So that's the one thing we find out and then obviously we see the survival rate of the animal mm -hmm. um, and it's crucial especially because we relocate them sometimes you know it's all well, lovely and wonderful to say oh yes the cat went and it's good and hoo-ha you know we've done a good job but you need to to follow that cat and make sure easy all right um, so I'll be like a walk on the computer um, from now on to monitor also this one to make sure easy fine mm -hmm. maybe come into the field and track him and see if I can get a visual of him